Hi guys, welcome to Educating Shani, where every Tuesday I answer your questions. I'm Shani and I'm recovering from an eating disorder. Hi Shani, hi. Seven seconds I said that. That was really good. I'm getting better, except now I'm wasting time again. Welcome to part two to today's Q&A video. I asked you guys on Instagram to ask me some questions and I already filmed a part one. If you want to go check that out, I'll put the link in the description below. Um, and depending on how long this one is, I might have to do two more Q&As tomorrow. So I'll let you know at the end of this video, I guess. Okay, Evelyn Evans, 1322 says, what's your favorite animal? <gasps> I have so many favorite animals. No, I don't. I like birds. My bird is a parakeet. I love parakeets. I love cats are probably my top favorite. I know I'm the, I know I'm in the minority and I don't want to get hate from all of you dog lovers out there, but I'm just not a dog person. I'm a cat person. I think dogs are adorable, but I love cats. I love that I kind of, they're very like, you know, bitchy. And I like that. I don't know. I like a little sass in my pet. I also really love butterflies. Does that count as an animal? Why does Instagram keep doing, I don't understand how to use it. And I'm, it's driving me insane. Okay. Disenchanted Rebel says, what's your favorite type of music? Anyone specific you like? Okay, I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. You know that I'm musical. I come from an extremely musical family. Everybody in my family either sings or plays an instrument or does both or has been, you know, crazy, like, talentedness. Um, so music is huge in our family, every type. You guys know that I try and sing sometimes. I do like to play the piano. I try, I'm not very good at it. But I love all music except the one where, um, I don't even know what it's called, but it's where they're like literally screaming the words and you can't really tell it like, <laughs> like that, that really hurt. I should. <coughs> Oh my gosh, my throat is gonna hurt so bad now. That did not feel good. But do you know what I mean? And it's like, I actually love those rock, like I like heavy rock bands, I love everything. I just don't like the parts where they scream it. Like screeching, screaming, yeah, I don't like it. Like that's, that's the only thing really that I don't like. I love all kinds of music, but my favorite, honestly, I'm just gonna be honest, I am, one of those people who, whatever's popular, I like. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna be one of those people and be like, oh, I'm a big fan of vintage 50s and 60s music. I do love that. I love everything, but if I'm being completely honest, I love modern music all the time, no matter what it is. I like Justin Bieber, not gonna lie. He's a talented kid. He might be a douche in real life, but he's a talented kid. He really is. There are a lot of people out there that people think are just so douchey and mean and just stuck up and they are, but that doesn't mean that their music sucks. Like I like their music. So pretty much anything, I guess. Where did the questions go again? Why does Instagram keep on doing this to me? I don't understand this. I'm so, well, whatever. Let's move on. Okay, there we go. Ah, the Sierra Lane says, why are you so beautiful inside and out? Um, Because I'm, because you said I am, so. I don't know how to answer that. I'll just say thank you, you're very sweet. Okay, my good friend Tommy, Tofu Tommy 12180, what do those numbers mean? Or is it maybe 120180, is that your birthday? <gasps> do I know your age finally? Tommy says, if you could have one superpower, what would it be and why? And if you had three wishes, what would they be and why? And also, if you could travel in time, where would you go and why? Sending you love and light, my dear friend. Thank you, Tommy, I love you. That's a lot of questions, hold on, okay. If you could have one superpower, what would it be and why? I would, like flying would be super fun, but I think I would get sick. And I think I would get sick of it also, I don't know. I have always said that I want to read people's minds. I'm already pretty good at that. I'm already a tiny bit into like overly intuitive. I'm not psychic, but I'm very good at reading people and like feeling people out. And I'm a really good judge of character. Like I'm just really good at that. But 
I think that would be cool to be able to read everybody's minds. Or to be invisible so I could like eavesdrop on people and like be a fly on the wall everywhere and like hear what people are saying about me because I'm really humble. I'm not vain at all. I don't, I, you know. What was the next question? It did it again. I don't understand what, what it's doing to me, you guys. Ah, okay. And if you had three wishes, what would they be and why? I would wish for more wishes, duh. Um, I would wish for, I don't know. I just would wish to be happy, I guess, and to be fulfilled and to have a happy life. And I guess to be a mommy and have the energy to be a mom and like make my family a better family and like cook more and take care of my husband better and clean better and, and take my kids to the park and do everything that you would do as a mommy and go through the hard times too. And I wish I could do that, but I can't right now. So I guess I'll say that. And then is that three? That's enough. I just wish that everyone would be happy. Like, that's what I would say. I would say, yeah, I would wish for like world, not world peace, but like world goodness everywhere. No one lives on the streets. Everyone can get free medical care and people who are depressed aren't depressed anymore. Like, like I just would wish that the world was a better place. Although if it was, if it was that perfect, then what's the point of being here? If we're gonna be perfect, we might as well go back to heaven and do some good work. Like what? Do we, like we're here to be imperfect. We're here to learn. We're here to go through hard times and to come out. I don't know how to answer the question. Moving on. I don't know. That's a really hard question. <gasps> if you could travel in time, where would you go and why? I would travel to the past and I guess I would go somewhere in my childhood and just tell myself that I didn't need to, but then again, if I didn't go down that road, then I wouldn't have ended up here and I wouldn't be married to Danny had I not get, gone down the eating disorder road. Like we've traced it back. Like I would not have met and married Danny. I probably would not have because if, if my parents didn't get divorced, if I wasn't abused and neglected and other hard things weren't happening to me in childhood, I don't think my parents would have gotten divorced because of those reasons. And so I don't think my mom would have remarried Rob and I wouldn't have lived in Rob's old house where I met Jameson and Jameson was best friends with Danny and I would not have met Jameson had I not lived in that house because it was down the street from him and I would not have met Danny. So like, I can't say that I would go back and try and tell myself to not go down that road because I, would, I probably wouldn't have met Danny had I not. But at the same time, I would have tried to like, I don't know, these are hard questions, Tommy. Leave it to you. I don't know, these are really hard. Where would I go? Maybe I would go in the future and see how long I'm gonna live and see how long Danny's gonna live. I take back my wish thing. I would wish that I will die before Danny, but only like right before, like seconds, like on, like on the notebook. That's my wish. That's my wish. Me and Danny die together when we're very old in a bed, holding hands and in love and together really old. That's my wish is that I could know that too. So I can enjoy my life because I'm very paranoid about Danny dying. And so I would love to just enjoy my life with him and know that we're going to die when we're 99 years old, laying in a bed, holding hands together. That's my wish. Oh, Danny. Oh, my good friend, Danny. Hi, Shannykins. Hi. I love that name. Do you think that you'll ever do some clothing haul videos when you are ready? Of course. Yes. And I was going to do it because my mom took me shopping, as you guys know, a while ago. And I forgot, I, I didn't forget. I just got too like self-conscious to do it for you. I don't know why, like you guys have seen my body here and there in my vlogs. Um, but I just, at the time, felt a little bit too self-conscious to do it. But um, I don't feel like I'm that bad anymore. So maybe I can do one soon and show you guys what she bought me and stuff. So yeah, 
I will try and do that. Okay, the spiciest boy. Ooh. What TV shows do you enjoy watching? Well, this could take up the rest of the video. I am the biggest Friends fan on earth. I can quote every line from every episode and tell you what line is from what episode and what the names are and who the cast are and who the, who the guest stars are. And blah, blah, blah. I can do everything Friends, okay? I Love Lucy is another one. That is very special to my sister Julie and I. You've met Julie a couple times and that's a very special show between the two of us because it was a special show between her and her mom um, back before her mom passed away and I knew her mom as well. We were best friends way before our parents got together. So um, that's kind of like more memories. Like every Friday I would sleep over with her and we would watch I Love Lucy. We would watch it with Lisa sometimes, her mom and I don't know. And so then when our par when Lisa died and my parents got divorced and we got together, we just stayed up all night all the time watching Lucy together. Like it just was a special thing between us. And it's, she's more of a fan than I am. Like she watches every episode, but I don't. I only watch like the Hollywood ones and like the Europe ones. I don't know. But anyway, that's another one. The Simpsons is really great. I love The Simpsons. I watch it probably every day because that's what I watch to fall asleep to because Danny and I um, are, we know every episode back and forth. I don't know, I don't know why. We just, we thought it was hilarious when we first got married. And so we just got hooked on it. And ever since then, we both watch it. Even if we sleep in separate rooms, we both watch it to fall asleep to just cause we know it so well that it's, you know, good enough to lay down and listen to and fall asleep rather than having to watch. I know that's crazy, right? Okay. And then as far as like current TV shows, okay. Big Brother is probably, it's a toss up between Big Brother and Lost as my all time favorite TV shows. I don't even know which one to pick. I really can't. I love watching Lost right after Christmas. I watch it every January because I'm craving the warmth of the beach because it's like freaking freezing cold here in Utah in January. So that's when I watch Lost. And then in the summer I watch Big Brother and I love Big Brother. And my mom got me the DVDs for Christmas a few years ago and so I have them on DVD so I watch them. Like right now I'm watching season 12 and it's fabulous. So, um, and I love like everything else. I love TV. It's really not actually healthy, but I'm getting better. I used to be, I used to watch like probably 10 hours a day and I would just binge and purge, binge and purge, binge and purge. And now I don't. You guys are probably like, oh my gosh, get a job. Like, what are you doing with your life? But that's the truth. And I've had to use it sometimes to distract me from other things. So did I answer your question? I don't know. Okay. Hannah Bowman Unique. Hey, Shani. Now that you are recovering, I say that gently. Could you make an updated video on physical symptoms or those that stayed the same? Yes, I can. I actually did one recently though. I don't remember how recent it is. Okay, I will tell you right here if there is a video that's recent that you can go watch and, and see this, so yeah. Okay, so that's all the questions I have time for in this part of the Q&A today. I am going to try and finish these questions in part three because I really wanna get through all of them and I'm almost there. So, and you are beautiful, you are worth it, and I am too. Thank you for watching, bye.